Matthew Vanderpool, winner of Peru Bay. Yes, it's true. Rounding out a 2023 spring classic season. That included the win in Milano San Remo, second in the Tour of Flanders, and today he's victor in Peru Bay on site in northern France and yes it's true Matthew Vanderpool's won solo and if you missed out on the race well it all happened on the Carrefour de l'Arbe sector the last of three five-star sectors where everything went bonkers we saw the crash of John Degenkopf as Matthew Vanderpool tried to squeeze through right then was also the attack of Walt Van Art and those two were seemingly riding free when we saw Walt Van Art being gapped well in fact he had a puncture they're off the sector 15 kilometers to go and from there 15 kilometers of riding free and just thinking about his victory celebrations here on the line after a lap and a half on the velodrome 256 kilometers starting in Copiana today a long day and it took a long time before we saw an escape ride free and in that escape four men racing free at 171 kilometers to go including the Canadian Derek Gee from Israel Premier Tech sad news unfortunately because it was Peter Sagan former winner here riding in his final Perry Bay crashing at 151 kilometers out on a cobble sector he later pulled the plug on his Perry Roubaix and then everything started lighting up as we headed towards the Arenberg sector, that famous sector through the forest. But it was before that sector, the sector beforehand, where Jumbo Visma decided to make their move. They lit it up, hammering into the sector. And on that sector, we saw Walt Van Aert with his teammate, Christophe Laporte. They've ridden so well together this spring, and they were free. They had Matthew Vanderpool in there too, and they were dropping others that included Trek, that included Ineos. Ineos had Ghana that missed the move. Trek had Mats Pedersen that missed the move. And up ahead in that move with Matthew Vanderpool was also Degenkopf, was also Stefan Kuhn, some real hitters. And then they hit the Arenberg sector, and they were free. Mats Pedersen saw the lights flash, and he knew he had to do something, so he was bridging up solo on the sector. And behind, another crash, this time involving last year's Perry Bay winner Dylan Van Barrel crashed on those cobbles but up ahead it was Mads Pedersen who made the bridge and probably didn't matter anyways because behind him the group led by Ghana was bridging up as well and this group was now free unfortunately it didn't include Christoph Laporte who had a puncture off of the Arenberg sector they did gobble up the last remaining escapees Derek Gee who was in the original escape the Canadian well he had a puncture and his wheel collapsed on the Arenberg sector up front when Ghana's group bridge it was bad news for Walt Van Aert. Not only did he lose Christophe Laporte, but in that group with Ghana, two other teammates for Matthew Vanderpool, Johnny Vermeersch and Jasper Philipson. So now the tables were turned against Walt Van Aert as they raced ahead, and it was the Matthew Vanderpool offensive. He started firing missile after missile on the Orchi sector, 51.5 kilometers to go. He attacked through right-hand turn, using the grass as a banking. Degenkopf, who looks so good today, former winner of Perry Bay, was following and marking well. Again at 47.3 kilometers to go on the Monzon Pavel sector, Matthew Vanderpool again. Jasper Phyllis in charges behind him. Kung's there as well. Matthew Vanderpool's doing everything to break Van Art's spirits, who's there alone, but Van Art is hanging and hanging tough on a slight rise, 54.5 to go. He, he attacks again and again on another cobbled sector, sector 9, 38.2 kilometers out. Matthew Vanderpool threw another right-hander while Van Art right there on him. Four out of four attacks for Matthew Vanderpool in a day that was going to be all his. And then we got on that tricky Carrefour de l'Arbe sector. It was Matthew Vanderpool lighting things Things up. It was also Walt Van Aert starting to do things and John Dagenkopf looking so good today. He was riding in the gutter. Jasper Philipson was on his left. Matthew Vanderpool was trying to come through to mark that move of Walt Van Aert and unfortunately everything just came together and John hit the deck. Matthew Vanderpool was able to bridge up to Walt Van Aert and then off of that sector a puncture for Walt Van Aert and that was a KO for his chances trying to win Perry Bay for the first time. Instead, it's Matthew Vanderpool riding solo to the 120th edition of Perry Roubaix, a victory that his grandfather Raymond Poulidor never had, a victory that his father Audrey Vanderpool never had, and it sets well with Milan San Remo earlier this year, that second place to Tade Pogacar in Flanders, and hey, behind, Walt Van Aert pulled things together. He was in the move with Jasper Philipsen. Unfortunately, Jasper Philipsen got the better of Walt Van Aert here at the finish line. 
he got second. Walt Van Aert got third on the day. Mads Pedersen coming in at 50 seconds back in fourth. Stefan Kuhn fifth. Filippo Ghana and further down to Christophe Laporte in 10th place. But the day belonged to Matthew Vanderpool. Congratulations to the Dutchman winning here in Roubaix.